What is vertical farming? Vertical farming is a greenhouse-based method of agriculture, where commercially viable crops would be cultivated and grown inside multi-story buildings that will mimic the ecological system. Safe and efficient methods of recycling organic wastes as well as the recycling of water wastes from sewage systems will be implemented. This method of indoor farming will include the production of freshwater fishes, crustaceans, and mollusks, like tilapia, striped bass, trout, shrimps, crayfish and mussels. The success of vertical farming as the answer to the imminent problem of food shortage is also foreseen as a means of rehabilitating vast agricultural lands that were systematically eroded by aggressive commercial farming for the past 20 to 30 years. The aim of this concept is to follow the patterns of past civilizations and inhabitants, land was abandoned when it was no longer ecologically useful. Thus, the abandoned area will be left untouched to naturally rehabilitate and experience regrowth. Vertical farming will provide an alternative agricultural venue, allowing land that has been depleted to take a break and repair itself with natural growths. Vertical Farming Advantages and Disadvantages Aside from the main objective of giving the damaged agricultural resources the chance to rehabilitate and redevelop biodiversity, vertical farming as a self-sustaining method of food production will also bring the following possible benefits. 1. Crops will be protected from harsh weather conditions and disturbances like typhoons, hurricanes, floods, droughts snow and the likes. Food production as well as food transport will not be affected. 2. Crops will be consumed immediately upon harvest since there is no need to transport them to far off places. Spoilage will also be lessened. 3. The use of chemicals as pesticides will be eliminated, hence, even vector-borne diseases can be prevented. 4. Waste reduction especially those coming from fast foods and restaurants will be composted in every vertical farm building, this will also result to less garbage for rats and cockroaches to thrive on. 5. Reduction in vehicular transport is also foreseen, there will be less demand for delivery trucks, garbage trucks and other utilities. 6. Overall wellness because city wastes will be channeled directly into the farm building's recycling system, hence, less bacteria can find its way in the environment and the atmosphere. 7. Abandoned or unused properties will be used productively. It cannot be helped that there will be skeptics who will not be easily convinced about the benefits of vertical farming. In fact, the advantage of providing additional employment cannot be cited as such, since the system will require much automation. On top of that, other occupations like farming, delivery drivers, garbage collectors and even garbage scavengers will be placed at a disadvantage. Other possible disadvantages are 1. The initial phase will be cost-intensive and certain flaws integrated in the system that may appear during its initial run can still dampen efforts for its full maximization. 2. There will be fewer variety of foods to choose from because not all plants and vegetables are suitable in a controlled and limited environment. 3. The public will find it hard to reconcile with the idea of using black water for food production. The whole idea may seem too ambitious and there are mixed reactions about the concept of vertical farming and the recycling of black water. The current state not only of our environment, but also of the world population's general health conditions leave us with no other choice but to try anything that offers even just a glimmer of hope. Vertical farming offers more than a glimmer, because its premises are all based from lessons of the past. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.